What's going on guys, this is Mr. DeLorean here, welcome back to a brand new video, today what I want to do is start a debate with one question. After episode 8 of season 6 of Fear the Walking Dead, is Dakota, Virginia's sister, redeemable? Here's my take on it. Let's start with your name. So pretty much before we get further into this video, we get started with like the debate portion of it and everything of my like whole take on the situation of is Dakota redeemable? I do want to say if you did not watch the um, season six, episode eight of Fear the Walking Dead, I highly recommend clicking off this video right now and going to watch the episode and everything and then come back because it was truly an amazing episode. And I hope to have my, my review out pretty soon, which I always say that, but it always kind of turns out like, you know, a week later, but I do genuinely want to get the review out like, you know, soon, but I highly recommend watching the episode, like, you know, and not getting spoiled by this so heavy spoilers ahead but let's hop right into the debate of is dakota redeemable after her actions of killing john in like you know episode eight so pretty much what led to dakota killing john is pretty much that john found out that she uh, or like, you know, John found out that Dakota was the one that killed Cameron that got Janice killed. And I forgot which episode, but she was pretty much the one that got Jan Janice killed and everything. Killed one of the Rangers. And pretty much Virginia covered up for her and everything. And Dakota killed the Ranger because he found out that she leaves or wants to leave the communities and everything to get away from Virginia. Which I guess makes sense. But after this episode, Dakota just seems worse than Virginia. Like, Virginia tried to kill Morgan. But overall, she's just an annoying piece of shit and everything. Like, she doesn't killed anyone yet like i said she tried to kill morgan but she has did like you know failed horribly and is gonna pay for that definitely but dakota's actually killed someone in virginia hasn't so i want to compare Do dakota to a character that everyone pretty much knows in like literally just after this episode or even during it everyone was quoting that this is like just like this one character and that one character is charlie now here's how charlie and dakota kind of differ in redeemability aspects or traits. Charlie kind of was very out of the loop and very easily manipulated into doing what like, you know, I forgot what the character's name was, like the leader of the um the vultures, but she was very easily manipulated into believing that like, you know, Madison, Nick, and all of them were really bad people when at the end of the day, that wasn't the case. Like she was very easily manipulated into thinking all that. And you can see even when she kills Nick that she feels horrified at it. And also Charlie's changed. Like she didn't say all this horrific shit about Nick and everything she felt genuine just she felt genuinely awful about doing it then when you move on to someone like Dakota who literally spewed the most horrific shit after killing John during and even killed him in a very awful way and like literally felt no remorse for it at all or anything which Charlie did like looked like she did after she killed Nick immediately Dakota just spewed this awful fucking shit about like you know john and everything just this whole scenario she sounded like a psycho which obviously that's because of like you know the woman who plays her and everything the like really good performance she actually gives for that character but she spews this like horrifically awful and psychotic shit and everything and at first i kind of, like was kind of like you know when john found out that like you know she was the one who killed like you know cameron got like janice killed that was the reason she had to kill her like you know him and everything which i thought it, it sucks but fine. I mean, it's not the way I want John to go at all or anything while discuss that in my full review. But I was like, okay, fine. But at first I was confused by like, you know, when Morgan found out, why didn't she just fucking shoot him also? But then she explains that, you know, she needs Morgan to like, you know, finish off Virginia. And that's like probably the one psychotic as fuck thing she didn't say or anything that made me actually think that, yep, she's too fucking far gone. So is Dakota redeemable? No, in my opinion, she really isn't, and that's because Charlie kind of had all these redeeming qualities of feeling remorse, like, right after and everything, genuinely feeling bad about it. And like I said, she was also very easily manipulated by, like, you know, the vultures and everything into thinking that, like, you know, Madison and all of them were bad people, when really they just, at the end of the day, weren't. But Dakota kind of did everything herself. She knew what was going on the entire time, and at the end of the day, still did what she did. Even after John begged, well, not, I wouldn't necessarily say say begged but even after he just said like i'll go with you guys i won't tell anyone or anything he finally had a purpose to fucking live and she still killed him so is she redeemable at the end of the day like i said no and everything after like just spewing horrific and psychotic shit to morgan also after like she just also seems like nutty at this point like i said 
amazing performance, but the character seems so fucking nutty at this point or anything that she seems so unredeemable. I personally feel she has to die, honestly. I hope Virginia does also and that, like, you know, we don't get this whole shit where it's like, you know, all life is precious like they did with Negan. And that's mainly because Negan had this personality and not taking away from the performance of the woman who plays Virginia, but Virginia just, just, just doesn't have that charisma that, like, you know, Negan has and everything. She's just someone you know is just gonna fucking die in the end, like Logan did in, like, you know, when Virginia got, like, you know, um, introduced. So I feel Dakota, honestly, at the end of the day, has to die, and what way they'll do it is up in the air, honestly. I feel she'll get shot, she'll die in an explosion, she'll get bitten or anything, she'll get eaten, which will I feel bad? It's a child getting practically eaten by walkers and everything, so obviously I'll feel a bit like, eh, but at the end of the day, I'll go, fuck you, you killed John for the stupidest fucking reason ever. But yeah, I don't think she's redeemable in any ways. Like I said, Charlie, tons of redeemable aspects and anything, even though they're not really utilizing her a ton this season. She has her good moments and everything, obviously. Like, when she, like, you know, helped clear all the walkers from, um, when helping Victor and, like, you know, Alice Alicia. But, like I said, tons of redeemable qualities for Charlie. Not really many for, like, you know, Dakota. She kind of, like, after this war's done, she's kind of served her purpose where, like, they don't really need her anymore. Because, obviously, at the moment, she's a clear pawn that Morgan has against Virginia. So, yeah, no redeemable qualities and anything. And make sure to leave your thoughts down below in the comments down below and everything. Do you guys think, like, you know, Dakota is redeemable? Do you think she'll develop any, like, you know, redeemable qualities? Do you guys think she should be forgiven for John's death? Because I haven't even mentioned June or anything. June is, for fuck's sake, not going to give her and if they do let her live she's gonna be like maggie is with negan living see i don't think she's redeemable at all and everything make sure to leave your thoughts down below in the comments and everything have a debate do you guys think dakota is redeemable and everything and if so do you think she has any redeemable qualities and what do you think of like you know my take of it and everything do you agree with my whole like comparison between like you know charlie and or not comparison but differentiation i don't know i'm fucking horrible in english but do you agree with how i differed charlie and like you know dakota and everything but yep that was the video and everything like i said make sure to leave your thoughts down below in the comments and make sure to like comment and subscribe for more of the latest the Walking Dead universe, such as like you know, stuff like this. And yeah, bye guys later, peace my amigos, and peace out.